Okay, so this is one of the Fred's hammers with the nylon tips. And he's literally right across from me. And I noticed that it had like these burrs really sharp on the edges. And then I noticed this face was very rough, as you can see. It's quite rough everywhere. And so I'm going to first get rid of the sharp burrs right here. See, they're pretty rough. And then I'm going to lightly sand the surface because it's very, very uneven. So I'm going to use our four inch wheel. This is our four inch wheel. This is our three inch wheel. There's like a difference. The reason I'm going to use the four inch, God, it's loud here. The reason I'm going to use the four inch is because it's going to give me a little bit more of a lip to use on the edge. So when I want to get to doing this, I'll have more surface area. Do you see that? Where before I didn't have much clearance on a three inch. And so I'll just flip it around to get the... Okay, so right now, like I said, I have it on slow speed and I'm using the micro finishing film in fine. Just so you know, that's what I have on here. That's all I have right now with me. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the burr that kind of... And this is really, really fine, so it's not like gonna change the shape of it. I'm actually concerned, like, what if I don't get the flat side cleaned up? I don't know if this is coarse enough, but you can see already the burr flew right off. And so we got the burr. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's so lovely. So let's take a look at what I just did. I didn't compromise the roundness. Everything looks fine. This is smooth so now I'm going to work my way in because he kind of has a roundness to the edge I don't want it to be sharp and he's just going to keep smoothing over where there's the chunks and there we go very nice oh there's still some more here yeah so I'm going to work my way in and then do the flat or I can do the flat and then do this after I might do that so right here the fine so you can see it's really uneven so he's been hitting obviously at the tip more you can see and so this has become uneven so I'm able to grind this first so let's work it so let's grind this so we got it even so back to original I might have had to use a heavier grid I didn't know about this So right here we've gotten this and you can see the center it's still a little wonky right there so if you really work on like 24 karat you really want to smooth this down as much as possible if you're working on copper and other harder metals Bill told me a light sand would be perfect So right here, we still have like a pig right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now, I can speed this up a little bit and kind of get it down. Now and I'm gonna 
get rid of the flying one. The little bird that kind of came up after I growl. Oh wow, that looks good so far. I could have used, to be honest with you guys, even the set scratch eraser. Oh yeah, that looks good. And it would have really ground it down like really, really fast. But I remember this is not mine and I want to make sure I'm doing a good job. But the, just so you know, the Scotch Pride, you guys, like this wheel would take this down very very fast if you guys want I can give you a little glimpse but I don't have one on a four inch right now but this bothers me hold on give me one second let me get this area there we go very nice okay and so the next step is going to be a polish So the grace, so right here, oh. so this is our four inch, and this is in the fine, and I'm going to use my buff with compound, use my compound, my dual coat compound, and first work the edges, so this is going to give you this look. You guys see that sign right there that I got from this to this sign. So we're going to keep working. So already we got that sign again. You see that? We'll keep working it. I'm going to do the face. So you want to get this smooth finish. Did you see that? Oh wow. I could have used one more grade, you guys, but I didn't have it, it's like the 9 micron, like this one, just so you know, but I didn't have it with me. We're just at a trade show and I'm doing this for Bill real quick. So this came out really nice. I know he doesn't need it shiny, but you can get it there. Okay, I think I'm done. Let me just do one more surface on the face just to make sure. I want to blend whatever lines I have. So this is like back to really nice. You don't even need it, this polish. But I still feel, here, let me talk about it. Okay, Okay. so just let me show you kind of what I've done. So we went ahead and we gave it a polish. Do you see that? However, that little dip right there is still bothering me. And like I said, either I'll use a heavier micro finishing film. You can barely feel it, but which is weird. It's just you notice the difference from the polish and that. So honestly, I would have used this and taking care of it and I'll show you that right now after I'm done but I just want to see what I've done so we've cleaned up all the edges which is nice okay so they've got it's really super smooth if you touch it so I just want to show you what we did up close so that's that now I am a perfectionist so I know right after I hang up with you like I mean hang up <laughs> goodbye when you're done with oh, it. Oh, look, 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 Fred. Nice, excellent. Did nice. you like it? Is this good uh, enough? Well, yeah, that's good enough. I got rid of all the furs. Okay. Are you all done your video? 
I'm, yeah, but this little stupid little thing, I didn't want to grind too much no, on. No, that's okay. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, because I could have. I realized it later. But if it, you want to waste more time tomorrow, you can. Okay, tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> hold on. So stay tuned tomorrow. I'll show you how to get rid of that little insight. And this is the man, the myth. The Mr. Fritz. Tomorrow's another day. Another day. Yes. Tonight, he wants to go out. I know we're going to. <laughs> Good so night. Sweet. Good night. Good night. Okay.